What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to the official PlayStation 5 launch day for United States. We've got ours in the background here, chugging along, copying some data over from our PlayStation 4, getting ready to start streaming all day. But we just finished a live stream. We did a live unboxing on the air, and I wanted to snip that and get it out to you guys if you're interested in seeing that content audio is going to be a little funky because like i said we were live streaming we snipped it out so you're going to see me go in and out i wasn't planning to do like a big extensive unboxing but if you like what you see if you like the playstation 5 you want to see what it looks like measurements stats all that stuff stay tuned to the video uh we're just going to cut out right at the end so make sure you like comment subscribe all that good stuff i'm oprias and nerdy dude enjoy the video nerdy dude stuff you know, I tell myself not to forget one thing, because this thing is a monster console. So, I had to make sure I have this. Mindatron, what do you think of Bulltron from Dap Radar? Let's move that down. Now we gotta talk down here. How's everything in the mic? Yeah, but we wanted to make sure we had a tape measure, because this is a monster console. I present to you the knife that we will be utilizing for our unboxing. Whoop! We're gonna start with unboxing uh, Miles Morales. It doesn't really matter because it's just a PlayStation game, but I'll show you the redesign of the PlayStation Miles Morales. You can see here, typical PlayStation box. And then instead, it's just got the white border up top here. And this is the launch edition, baby. Send me a telegram, I'll check it out. So, and then for reference, just grab the first game. So that's a PlayStation 4 game. That's a PlayStation 5 game. Same case, just different border up top to kind of match the white theme of the PlayStation. All right, so Miles Morales will be streaming this all day today. Up next to make some room for the PlayStation 5, because we're gonna put it back here. We're gonna get to unboxing our Astro A20 wireless headset. This is what we'll be using. This is one of the only, besides the Pulse, this is one of the newer uh, headsets that are compatible with the PlayStation 5. Let's see, easy way to open this, you just gotta rip off the top. I'm gonna open it from down here. We got one of the pull tabs, so we're gonna get our knife. We're gonna slice right in there. Before I slice my fingers off. Can we do it? Come on, do it, get to the, get to put the knife, do it. Another cut towards yourself. You gotta do safety first, kiddos. All right. And if you're a child doing this, make sure you get adult supervision. Sometimes I pretend I'm an adult, but. We're gonna. I'm gonna keep that box back there just in case. So, in the box already, we've got a USB C cord so we can charge this bad boy up. Make sure we keep it charged so you don't want to be gaming in the middle of your game and your headset dies out. Ooh, baby. Now normally, it comes with a dongle so you can play it in your PlayStation 5. Picks up the Bluetooth sound. Normally I play on the PlayStation Gold and the PlayStation Platinum headsets. This is the first time I'm actually going off-brand on a PlayStation, uh, on, a, on a headset. But I've heard it's gonna be compatible with the, um, the 3D sound and everything like that. If not, we'll just go out and get the PlayStation 5 full set set. But for 120 bucks. Looks like we got some protective stuff to take off. But for 120 bucks, yep, take that off right there. Here's our A20, our Astros. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, those are comfy. Yeah, now we look like a professional gamer. We've got all the buttons, and they're on the right side. So since I always use the PlayStation Gold, they're on the left, but it looks like everything's on the right. Got a nice little wheel to turn the sound up and down instead of buttons like the PlayStation. That's easy to find. We've got our menu, our power. Nice. And we've got some protective coating that we'll peel off here shortly. We should probably look into getting these bad boys charged. Do we have any dongles anywhere? No, we'll set that up by off camera. All right, 
We got a controller. You're gonna see two controllers. Actually, let's just set this one aside. Well, we need to unbox it anyway, because we need to play with it. Because we need to make sure we have it all charged up and good to go. Let's put this all away. Here we go. Come on, you gotta use a knife again. Gotta take off the little safety. Oh, always cut away from yourself, kiddos. You don't want to get any slice thumbs and you don't want any blood. It's a white console and the white controller. You don't want any blood all over it. There we go. There we go. It's a flip mic. Uh, I don't know, actually. I've never really worked with uh, the flip mics or anything. So, I am excited to hold one of these bad boys in my hand. I'm so excited. I know I could have gotten these a few days ago. Trash. But, figured, you know, why just put the tip in when you can get the whole thing. Well protected. Oh. Oh, baby. Does it come with a charge cable? Should be. Oh, my goodness. Nothing in there. Oh. That's a controller. Oh, man. Especially... Oh. Look at that. That is a controller. Nice big home button, like touchpad. You got your PlayStation home button down in there. Your traditional triangle, circle, X square, D pads. You got your haptic triggers. What I really like about these, oh, so it's nice and grippy on the back here. And I can't show it on camera, but if you look really closely, I think so, right? Let's, let's take a peek. Beauty. Yes, I'll be doing gameplay all day. So if you go onto the Twitch, I'll stream it on YouTube as well, but you can go on Twitch and you could follow me. Link for that is in the description. We'll be playing Miles Morales all day today, Call of Duty all day tomorrow. All right, so yes, just what I just what I thought and heard. Kind of looks like an Xbox controller. No, it looks like a blend between the Xbox controller. It looks like a blend between the Xbox controller and the PlayStation DualSense 4, um, but it's got more of the... Like the buttons are, it's like asymmetrical. It's symmetrical, essentially. Technically, it's asymmetrical because these are different. But you can essentially fold this controller in half, it matches. Whereas Xbox has got like the one D or joystick down here and the one up here and the buttons a little. It's like, I never really enjoyed the Xbox. Now, what's really cool is it's rough back here. It's got some grip. The rough, it's like sandpaper sized. They're all mini X triangle circle squares. So when I looked at it on my phone, I can't really show it on camera. Like you won't get it on camera, but it's got this pattern, these these icons all interweaved back here to be grippy. And I know the PlayStation does that as well. So beautiful controller. Let's see if that's got oh just it just feels so good. It feels so good. I was nervous looking at it how it would feel, but everything just feels so good. So good. Ooh, it's lighting up a little bit, but it's not synced to a PlayStation. So do we have a and it does not It does not come with a USB uh, charge cable, which is fine. The PlayStation should have one. And of course, the headset has one. And they're all pretty universal now, so they're all the same fit. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Uh, C, USB-C. Same one as uh, the headset. Same one as pretty much every Android phone, so you can plug it in any, any way now, which is nice. $200 remote with no wire, lol. It's a $70 remote. It's like a, it's like the new iPhone 12s, you know, the $1,000 phone, you don't get a $29 cord with it. All right, here we go. This is it. on it so they told me I need to keep the box so and I keep all my PlayStation boxes anyway they're all you know oh, come on what are you doing all right how's this bad boy want to open I 
like this. Nope. How are we opening? Oh, there's a pull tab up here. Alright. So we go in the top. Instruction manuals. Eh. Been gaming since I was three years old. We don't need any of that. We got our power cord, which the exact same one as the PlayStation, um, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. So, uh, right there, just a little three-prong AC, no adapter or anything like that. Put that there, because we will put... Got him a noob. Oop. Controller number two. We've already talked about the first controller, but this is the one that comes with the PlayStation as well. So, boom, controller number two. We'll set that bad boy. You know what, Baby Yoda? The child? There you go. You can play with me later. There you go. Keep it going. Oh, this is heavy. What else is in here? Ooh. Ooh, this is, this is, uh, this is the cheapo, but this is the money. This is what's gonna change the scenery of the PlayStation while I'm streaming. This is the stand. So we can either have the PlayStation standing up, or I think this locks in the back and we can have it laying down, but we're gonna have it standing up and facing the camera. You guys can hear me all right. So, nice little stand. Uh, I think some of it like screws in. We'll, we'll play around here when, in just a moment. But that's a complicated stand. I mean, like, not symmetrical or anything like that, but we'll see here in a moment. Maybe we have to use the instructions. HDMI cord. We're probably going to use this one because this will be a better quality. I'm assuming, I'm hoping this will be a better quality one than some of the ones that we already have because we've got the nice 2.0 with our Razer um, Ripsaw capture card. So we kind of want to match and make sure we have two brand new HDMI cords so that way everything looks good. We'll put the HDMI cord there. Uh, how big is it? Looks like it's about a three footer. Three foot HDMI cord so we got plenty of room there. That'll be nice. Really, guys, all that's left. Oh, this thing is packaged. It's got these like styrofoam egg carton things on the side. It's got the saran wrap all over it. I'm afraid to touch it. I'm afraid to touch it. Like, I'm just, it's here. It's here. It's right in here. Like, how do I pull it out? I'm not good at pulling out. That's how I got twins. Oh my god, this is a console. Whew. That's it for the box. So like I said, we've got these egg cartons. That's it. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm holding it. I cannot believe I'm holding it. So excited for this damn thing. The Christmas hot item. Oh. Oh. Oh, you can even see it. Oh, it's fucking real. Oh. Psych gets released to Binder for high school. Ha! Look. Look at this beauty. Oh. Oh, yeah. Even the, like, it's not etched. It's smooth. But it's all, like, pixelated for those X's and, like, triangles and circles and squares. You got a completely etched out PlayStation logo up here. And then on the inside, that's where it's rough, like the back of the controller. It's all the X's and squares. Oh, look at it. This is the front. There we go, baby. There we go. Oh, mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. Yeah, nine months later, twin PS5s. I'll do a giveaway then. Oh, it's beautiful. You got your on. The reset buttons here. You got a USB and a USB-C here. You got big vented fans. You got your disk drive over here. Let's take a look at the back. And then we're gonna measure this bad boy. Oh, monstrous fans. So you got two USB ports on, you got two regular USB 2.0 ports on the back. I think they're 3.0. Um, Ethernet port, HDMI. 
and then our power. Ugh. And all the vents are slanted, like, oh, you can't even see it. Like, I'm just like, look at it, look at it. Can you see that? Can you see that? All the vents are, like, ported downwards, so that'll really help with, like, dust, like, dust control and everything. Oh, it's beauteous. It's beauteous. It's monstrous. This thing is huge. Like, I've seen videos of this thing. Did not think it was going to be this big. Like, I believe it's, like, 14 inches. So when they're like, oh, it's 14 inches, I was like, well... Not even close. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how big this bad boy is. Plus covers some off. Yeah, the covers, all these covers, there's an easy way to remove them. I watched them in one of the unboxing videos. So when they, I, I guarantee PlayStation's going to release special covers you can put, and they pop in and pop, pop on and off just like that. Whoa. That's just shy of 15 and a half inches tall. Just shy of 15 and a half. Let's go to an official. Yeah. Just shy of 15 and a half. Boom, there you go. That is a beast of a console. Tall. Ten and a quarter this way, width, and then depth. We're gonna go with the fattest part of it to see what the depth is. Three and a half up top. And about three and a half down near the disc tray. It's a beauty. Makes my half inch feel small. It's a beauty. If I had a better camera system, I would do like a cool like rotate around this thing. But, oh my gosh. Since we're live streaming, I can't really, I was gonna plug it in and just turn the bad boy on. But, we'll maybe do that for the video that we're gonna edit out, so. Ah, can we figure out the stand? Let's see if we can figure the stand out. I think. So this is what it would look like without the stand laying on its side, but we're not gonna do that. Maybe, I like it. 